Hey there, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I fixed the problem where my computer would hard crash black screen and the fans would go full speed like a jet engine. This would happen constantly, no matter what I was doing. And after some research, I think I figured it out and I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, just to clarify my setup, I probably got one of the best 4090s you can get. It's, com it's paired with the 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM and a 7800X3D processor. Uh, I'll show it right here. And it sounds great, right? Well, everything was great until I had this problem and it stuck for around a year. I got this graphics card in like mid-2023. Uh, the thing is with these early 4090s, uh, they had a little problem with their power connectors. Uh, to spoil the video, that's what my issue ended up being. Uh, mine didn't melt like some of the ones you probably saw on Reddit back then, uh, but it was still causing my crashes. So these hard crashes would happen randomly, and the only way to recover was a hard restart, which was uh, holding the power button until the PC shut down. As for why this sequence of events happens, even a year later I can't say for sure. All I know is that I fixed it on my end completely. After about a year of troubleshooting, I finally figured out the issue. For me, the direct fix was to replace the 16-pin power connector that came with my 4090. Once I did that, the hard crashes completely stopped. Uh, the connector I'm talking about is the 12VHPWR power supply cable. I had been using this adapter that shipped my 4090 until I bought a Corsair replacement. My Corsair RMX power supply supports this connector, but yours may be different, so make sure your PSU is compatible. Unlike the adapter, the, this Corsair cable plugs directly into the PCIe headers on my modular power supply. It uses two 8-pin Type 4 connectors, as you can see in the picture from Amazon. After replacing the cable, I stress test my system with 3D Mark. Performance stayed the same, except this time I could actually finish the test without a hard crash. Here's some footage of me playing Path of Exile 2 at max settings. Feel the shock. And I'll just plug my $500 special edition while I'm at it. So if you're dealing with the same problem, try this fix. Uh, replacing that connector was the only thing that worked for me, and it completely solved my crashing issues. Um, yep. So, uh, thanks for watching.